Hello boys and girls and welcome to another maths lesson. Today we are looking at numbers between 11 and 20 again, so let's get started. Right, we're going to count two and back from 20. You can pause this video and start from zero if you want to, but we are just going to start from 10 and go from 10 to 20 and then from 20 back to 10 because we're quite confident now with numbers zero to 10. So we're going to start from 10. So let's clap and start from 10 and let's count forwards. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And now let's do rolls. And we're going to roll backwards with our hands. Do rolls with our hands, starting from 20, counting backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Let's do shooting stars, starting from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's go backwards, blinking our eyes. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Well done. So what we're going to do now is you're going to point to a number when I say it. Where is 14? Well done. Where is number 10? Where is number 19? Where is number 5? Well done, superstar. Right, let's have a little recap then. You can answer these questions at home, just to someone who is in the room, or you could write them down in your book. It's up to you. So question number one, what number comes next? 9, 10, 11. What comes after 11? Hope you're saying it. Super. 12 comes after 11. 9, 10, 11, 12. Question number two then, what comes next? 20, 19, 18. So first, are the numbers getting greater or smaller? Are they going forwards or backwards? They are going backwards, well done. 20, 19, 18, 17, super. Question number three, which number is 16? So we've got the six and then the one, or is it the one and then the six? Have a think of yesterday's lesson. Super, it's the one and then the six because the one represents a 10. So there's the 10 there and then the six, six ones, okay? Question number four, find the mistake. I'm going to count, say these numbers. You're going to point to them and see if you can spot the mistake. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the mistake you should have found is 14. The numbers are the wrong way around. We start with the 10 first and then the four. Right, so we're looking at numbers 11 to 20 again. So let's have a look how many we're going to count on. But first, here's four different representations. We're going to start with the tens frames with the red counters. So point to that, that side at the top on the left. Yet yeah, we're going to start with that tens frame with the red counter. So we know that there's 10 in the top there. Don't need to count those. It is a full tens frame. 10, let's count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we've got 19 there. Right, let's move over to the Numicon. The Numicon is still on the top line, okay? It starts with a purple, and goes to green. So we know that that purple Numicon block is worth 10. Don't need to count it, we know that it's 10. Let's count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 because we've got that green Numicon represents five. We've got five holes there. So 10 and five, 15, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right, we've got the straws on the bottom now. We'll base 10 on the bottom left. So we've got a pack of them there and we can see in that red tape, we have got 10 and then we've got two on the outside. So we've got 10, 11, 12. 
So we don't have to count all of those in that packet there. We don't need to count all of those. We know that it represents 10. 10, 11, 12. Makes us count a little bit quicker, doesn't it? And then now we've got some hands. And we know those hands that are up make 10. If you put both your hands up, that is 10. We don't have to count all your fingers and thumbs. We know it's 10. And then we can count on because there are also three fingers up. So 10, 11, 12, 13. So 10 and 3 is 13. All right, let's do the same again then. We've got four more representations. We'll start again with our tens frames. You join along with me if you haven't already. We know that there's 10 in that top tens frame. Let's count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So all together we have got 16 counters. Let's move over to our numicon. We know, oh, and it written 16 there in words just so that we can read it. It. 16 super right we know that numicon we know that there's 10 that purple block of numicon is 10 so let's count on from 10 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 there are eight a numicon block of eight that purpley blue one so 10 and 8 is 18, and we can see the word 18 written down there. Oh, showed you the answer there. Hopefully you didn't read it in time. Let's look down at the straws. So we've got a pack of 10 there. So we know we've got a back pack of 10. So we've got 10 there. Let's count on from 10. 10, next straw, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're not writing it in numbers. We're going to show you in words. That is how we write the word. 14 and then let's have a look at the hands we know that two hands up is 10 don't need to say that we've got 10 and then the other hand is holding up one 10 and one what comes after 10 10 11 well done and we've written that in a word there 11 10 and one is 11 one more than 10 is 11 and this turtle says, look at how many ways I can show 12. So he's used his hands, he's used numicon, he's used dice, and he's used some apples. But I think he's made a mistake. So let's have a look at the hands. We've got 10. Two hands is 10. And let's count the two. So 10, 11, 12. Super, he's made 12 there. So the hands are correct. Let's have a look at the numicon. We know the purple block of numicon is 10. So we don't have to count those 10. And then let's count on from 10, 10, 11, 12. We've got a little orange block of two there. So 10 and two is 12, 10, 11, 12. Oh, so that one's correct. He's made 12 there. Let's go down to the dice. We've got six and six. Hmm, so this is a bit different. We're going to have to count on from six because we don't have 10. So six is that one. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, yeah, we know because of our doubles and our halves, 6 and 6 makes 12. So that one's super correct as well. Let's have a look at his apples then. He's got three bags, and in each bag, he's got four in the first bag, four in the next bag, and three in the next bag. Let's count them, all those apples, all together and see if he's got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Mmm, 11. Has he made 12? What do you think he would need to do to make 12 in that last bag? Have a look at the first two bags. How many is in the first two bags? Four. Well done. How many is in the last bag? Three. Well done. So what does he need to do to the last bag to make 12? Super. He needs to add one more. Let's have a look. So the one that's not correct is that one. Big cross through it because he needs to add one more into that bag. But the rest of them, super counting, they all show 12. So what I want you to do now is you can pause this video and it says pick a number between 11 and 20. So you have a think about a number, any number you want to between 11 and 20. And I want you to see how many ways you can build your number. So you might use some blocks you've got at home. You might have some leaves in the garden or some twigs. You might have some stones. Won't have any conkers. Conkers are in the autumn. Have a look, see if you've got any buttons, Lego, um, 
figures, you might have Barbies or action men, anything you want to, any of your toys, I want you to think of a number or an adult in the room can think of a number and I want you to count out that many of your toys. Okay, and I want you to take it in turns and do it for about five minutes to make sure you are counting out correctly and accurately. If you just have 10, you could start with your 10 Lego on one side and then just count on from 10. That would be a super idea. Super, I hope you enjoyed that activity and you had lots of opportunities to count out from 11 to 20. So now let's have a look how much is 20. So 20 is, let me just go back, four hands of five. So if we've got five and another five and another five and another five, we've got 20. So two hands of 10, 10 and 10 is 20. Oh, Numicon, we've got a block of 10 at the top and a block of 10 at the bottom, 10, and 10 is 20. Oh, here it looks like we've got windows, but it's like two 10 frames stuck together. 10 and 10 is 20. And then we've got the straws. We've got a pack of 10 and a pack of 10. So two lots of 10 is 20. 10 and 10 is 20. Right, let's have a look here then. He says, this boy's called Ron, I think, and he says, I have made the number 19. So Turtle's going to check that is right. So Turtle says, right, yep, yeah, we've got 10 there. And we've got 9 there. Ooh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hmm, 19. Is he right? So he counted, let's just go back, he counted the 10. Is that 10? And then he counted 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Have a look at those tens frames. I think Ron might have made a mistake. Let's see if Turtle can help him. Oh, yes, there's a space in that first tens frame. Turtle counted 10, but there isn't 10 because there's a space. And a tens frame has to be full before we can count on from 10. So it's going to get a counter from the other side and fill up that fill up that tens frame at the beginning first and then we can count again so it's very important you check that your tens frame is full before you count on from 10 so it's going to go back 10 we know we've got 10 now 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so ron hasn't made number 19 ron had made 18. Rewind this video again if you want to see where Ron went wrong. Right, and then we've got here, Mo has made 16 in three different ways, true or false. So is he right or is he wrong? So let's have a look at the tens frames first. We can see 10 at the top. Let's count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Super, thumbs up. He's made 16 in his tens frames. Let's have a look at the straws, the base ten. So we've got a pack of straws there, ten. Let's count on ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Superstar Ron, well done Ron, you've made sixteen. And then let's look at his Numicon. How many has he got first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the first piece of Numicon is nine. And then let's count on nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, 15. What, how, what was he counting to? 16, well done. So what is missing from our new Mecom? He's got nine and six. So we can keep the six because we need those six ones for our 16, but we need a full 10. So that new Mecom needs to be a full 10 and he's not made a full 10. So he needs to add another one to his nine to the Numicon and then that would make a full 10 and then 10 add 6 is 16. So this is false because Mo has not made 16 in three different ways. He has made 16 in two different ways. The tens frame have 16 and the straws have 16 but the Numicon do not. Hope you enjoyed it. I would like you to get your worksheets out of your work pack now please and complete the worksheet from numbers 11 to 20. Superstars. See you again tomorrow.